Folder tabs are a great way to chunk content into meaningful sections or tabs so learners can remain focused in the moment without having to jump to new slides for each piece of content. Now let's take a look at how easy it is to create custom folder tab interactions in Articulate Storyline. So let's go ahead and begin with the custom tab button. Now I'm calling it a custom button because I worked with my own graphics that I created outside of Storyline. Oh yeah, that's right. You can use your own graphics in Storyline. So here's what I used. My tab begins with a normal state. They all do really. But we also created four more images for the hover state, the selected state, the visited, and the disabled states. Now to build the button, I'll begin with the normal state image. That's the only one I really need. Now to add the other images to the button, I need to edit the button states. So click states, edit states. Now I'm actually inside the button. From here, I can add my own images for each of the button states. But first I'm gonna lay down some text for the tab's title, and I'll call this one team. Okay, so now let's add the rest of the tab's states. So click add new state, and we'll select hover. Now hover is a built-in state, which means that Storyline will recognize that this is an active button when the user mouses over uh, the graphic. Now you'll notice though the hover state right now is really just a duplicate of my normal state graphic. The same image is being used. Now I can easily swap this with my custom image by right-clicking the image and selecting Change Picture. So find my hover image and click OK. Next I'll go ahead and create the visited state. So click the new state button and choose visited. And I'm gonna change this picture again. And finally, I'll repeat for the selected and disabled states. Okay, so now that our buttons are set up, you may notice that the text only shows on the normal state. Well, that's okay because the text on the normal state will carry across all the other states. But maybe we wanna change the text color for each state. Now to do that, we'll want to copy the text from the normal state and paste it on the specific state so we can change the color for each of those states. Okay, so we now have custom images and text assigned to each of our tab states. Click Done Editing States and return to the main timeline. Now finally, I'll add a subtle drop shadow to the tab. This just gives the tab some depth and helps visually separate it from the other tabs that we'll create in the next step. Now our first tab button is done, and we can duplicate it a couple times to create a few additional tabs. And we should probably make sure they're lined up evenly. Now to get the effect where only one tab is selected at a time, we can group these tabs into a button set. And we do that by selecting all of the tabs and then right clicking on them and selecting button set, button set one. Now each of the tabs shows team right now, right? So we have three team tabs. To change the tab button's text labels, we simply edit each button and update the text. Now in this case, we actually added a specific text color for each of the tab states. That means we're actually gonna have to go in here and change each one. Now if you just use one color across all states, you'd only have to update it on that normal state. Okay, so we have three tab buttons as a button set and they're ready to go. Now, because we want learners to remain on the slide, this slide, and not jump out to new slides each time they click a tab, we want to work with Storyline slide layers. Now, we do that by going over here to the slide layers panel and creating three new layers, one for each of our tabs. And it's always a good practice to rename each of the layers so it aligns with the tab. Now, let's add some placeholder content to each slide layer just something quick so we can verify that the slides change when we click the tabs. Now we can always go back and tighten this up later. So back on the base layer, select the first tab, and this is the team tab. Now to show that layer, we need to add a trigger. Now triggers are the actions that tell Storyline to do something. So when we click the team tab, we wanna tell Storyline to show us a layer. Which layer? The team layer. All right, so that's all there is to it. Now, since I already added this first trigger to my buttons, I can copy it and then paste it on the other two tabs. So that's kind of a good production tip. Now, all I have to do is click this blue link to change the layer the tabs will show. All right, so let's preview our file real quick to see how we're doing. Now, clicking the tabs, I see only one tab is selected at a time, and that's evident by the green highlight. 
the visited states are also working correctly because I see the, the lighter gray tab. Now there's only one last thing we need to do and that's add a cover graphic so that the selected tab integrates with the white content holder and appears to be that topmost selected tab. All right, so back on the slide, select and copy that first tab, the team tab, and over in the slide layers, I'll paste that tab button. So I'm really just pasting a duplicate tab over the original tab, and now I'll change its initial state to disabled. That way, it can't be clicked. Okay, so that's essentially it. Of course, there are many more things we can do to customize our interaction, but that's essentially how easy it is to create a folder tabs interaction in Articulate Storyline.